behalf of my honorable colleagues in the department and all of us who are here today this morning a great pleasure in inaugurating this state referral ESL3 in Aga Hospital Authority Kohima and I dedicated this ESL3 laboratory to the people of Nagaland and beyond. God bless. For space constraints, they were not able to allow me to let the stage. testing of COVID-19 cannot be carried out in any normal laboratory and so a biosafety laboratory is recommended. As of April 1st, 2020, 126 laboratories have been approved for COVID-19 testing across India. Sensing the urgency to have a COVID-19 testing facility in the state, the state government had approved to set up two biosafety laboratories, BSL Level 3 in Kohima, BSL Level 2 in Dimapur. Accordingly, the work for setting up this BSL lab at Kohima started on the 16th of April 2020. The Nagaland Institute of Science and Technology is a non-profit organization. This is formed by mostly retired uh, scientists and some social workers. Our main objective is to create a platform where our young people can be nurtured to explore their talents. It is my privilege to be part of the making of Nagaland's first BSL 3 COVID-19 state-of-the-art testing laboratory at this Nagaland uh, Bohema Naga Hospital. Despite the prevalent situation, lockdown and challenges, I am glad to announce the constru construction of the laboratory has been successfully completed. Concerned citizens and my dear present medium, our Prince God Almighty, for making our wish and our dream come true in setting up his state referral ESL3 laboratory in Kohima possible. I feel this is the time to thank God Almighty for being kind to us thus far and I feel it is time for us to express our gratitude and thanks to all those who have made this possible. As we inaugurated this state referral BSL 3 and dedicated to the people of Nagaland State. Indeed, it is another milestone in our historic journey towards healthcare and particularly to fight 
novel coronavirus in our state. COVID-19 pandemic has affected the entire world. We learned that it had affected, uh, infected already more than 50 lakhs and 8,000 people around the world, U.S. having the highest of 15 lakhs, 91,000. And even India, our country, the case infected is more than 1,000, uh, 1 lakh, 12,000, and the dead. This morning it is recorded as 3,434. And every minute, every second, the count is increasing. In fact, yesterday was the highest spike all over the world. And India is known as the highest spike. Our state, by the grace of God, is free from positive case of COVID-19. And we praise God for this, for the protection. We have been sending our samples to Assam and Manipur State. And I want to express my gratitude and thank on behalf of the state government to our neighboring state for helping us in this time of crisis. Today, as we had successfully inaugurated the laboratory to test the samples. I'm aware the hardship the department has taken and the support from various ministries, agencies and scientists and doctors and the agencies who had made this possible. Few of us only could go inside to see what actually is made, the safety measures and the procedure, how to conduct. It is not only to deal with COVID-19, but as mentioned, it will be possible to have researches and to see any kind of viral or diseases. Therefore, we are really grateful to those people who made it possible. I will not name them all, but as already been mentioned by the Minister of Health and Family Welfare. Here are people who are outside the state. They started coming back to our state. Already 1,672 people have arrived and remaining in Koranta. In Dimapur, in Kohima, and even in the district headquarters. And more are coming by midnight tonight. About 1,400 are arriving from Chennai. And since the train and flight will be open, many more thousands will come. 
I'm stranded hotel and recorded some 18,622 people had registered willing to come back home. While we welcome them, while we have, all have to support their returns, everybody has to abide by the directive given by the government to remain in quarantine facilities so that if anybody is tested positive, it can be contained, it can be controlled. World Health Organization had mentioned that listen to this viral is not found yet. And the only thing to control content is to taste and taste and taste and to contain the spread of the virus. So we will be doing the taste here in our state and in this, I met few scientists inside who are going to do the work. And we thank all the health fraternity, scientists, doctors, nurses, frontline workers, and other various departments. I cannot mention all of them the police, the NSDMA, and till today, how it is possible, how God has been so kind to us is because we are united and we are taking a common platform to fight this novel coronavirus. <clears throat> we, you are aware that our position, financial position is not very good, but state government could spare some fund to occur this ESL labs and we hope this will be used carefully to protect our people. Out of all these financial constraints also, the department, the civil societies, various agencies, churches, and everybody had given their collective efforts physically in their prayers, their support and cooperations. And that's how I would say that we are in a better position to fight the coronavirus, the pandemic that had gone all over the world. I toured the districts, I've seen the hospital converted into COVID hospitals, their preparation, humble, but with great effort, that preparedness. The ICUs, the isolation wards, and the quarantine places are in a better position to fight coronavirus. Uh, virus. If anybody who is coming back is even test positive, you never know because they may be safe in their own places, but in their journey, you have seen in the social medias, they will be passing many areas and the social distancing are not maintained and the people who 
deliveries and the workers it is very dangerous very contagious so if anything happen also there should be no stigma but give support so that we can clean up this mess and come out winner all together we are team nagaland and as we are successful today because of our unity and joint efforts it's not only government it's not only the civil societies the ngos the church but it is a combined effort so i appeal to the citizens for their continued support cooperation and participation to protect our people and continue to be green zone free of positive covid-19 thank you and god bless and all the best wishes for our frontline workers health fraternity police sanitary workers and all people from our public leaders and civil society thank you god bless thank you sir for gracing the occasion for sharing your thoughts with us and thank you everyone for coming and for bearing the impact we conclude from here have a good day to have our own testing available in the state for our people had it not been because of the support of the government this would never been ever would never have happened